What's up guys? Uh, I'm going to talk about the information that's been released on Walmart and Best Buy, which is about the game. Uh, you guys probably already seen uh, videos from Real Radman and IDK Player and a couple of other people who went through it, so I'm just going to really give you my take on it. So, I'm on the Walmart site. This one seems to have a little bit of a more uh, descriptive version of what the features of, of the game are going to be. So I'm going to go through each bit, tell you what I think real quick, and then I'm going to wrap it up by giving you my overall feel of what to expect. So we're going to start off NASCAR Heat 4 Gold Edition includes the 2019 season pass DLC and exclusive Jeff Gordon steel box. Okay. Now the price of this Gold Edition is going to be $70. And I don't those of you who do follow me, you might remember that I've talked in the past about how instead of selling DLC separately, that I think it would be better if they just came out, gave people, every, put everything in the game that's available and just charge people a flat price. Like, And I actually even said $70 would be a good price point because the regular game's $50 and $70 is a $20 above the normal price and that would cover everything that whatever the game has to offer you just get it right from the jump and I know some people are gonna say well it's not that big of a difference buying it separate or not but I do think the way they package it all together and maybe throw a little a couple of extras in there to make it more enticing I think when you look at it as a consumer and you see it's seventy up seventy dollars it's not that bad uh, it's really we pay sixty bucks for most games seventy bucks is not that bad and even considering the game is fifty dollars regularly i think it just feels better for the consumer and i do think it's important i do think it makes a difference i'm not a fan of dlc but you know what that's not going anywhere and just charge people 70 bucks from the jump and they're actually doing that i'm not saying they got it from me they don't I'm sure they don't even know who i am who cares the point is that I did think this was the best way to go, and they're doing that. So I like the sound of it, that you're getting whatever this game has to offer. You're just going to get it right from the jump for 70 You could still buy the game for 50 but you're not going to get all the paint schemes, all these, this other stuff. So I just wanted to put that out the way because I do like that. I do think that this is a better business model for 704 because... More people, I think, are likely to buy the $70 gold package from the jump. It, I just think they'll make more money that way. Because more people are likely to do it that way than buy the game for $50. And then later on, oh, I'm going to spend another $20 on whatever they're offering. I just think they're going to make more overall sales. That's I'm not a, an expert in, in, this, in business and stuff like that, but... As a consumer, I feel I'm more likely to spend the money. I'm going to get the gold package. Not because it really offers anything amazing, but because it's just 70 bucks. And I, and I don't want to, I want to know right off the jump that I'm getting everything the game has to offer. Basically, that's why I'm doing it. And I'm sure other people probably feel the same. Some people might not. But the point is, 70 bucks is a good price point, and you're going to get everything right off the bat so that's something i've suggested in the past and maybe some of you guys might even <clears throat> remember excuse me so it comes with the, the dlc season pass all the uh paint schemes and this jeff gordon steel box i couldn't care less about stuff like that but it's cool for people that actually collect stuff and there are people out there who like all this extra stuff so i'm not getting it for that I just want to know I have everything from the jump. So that's, I think it's good. I'd rather see them do that, and I hope that this is something they kind of stick with. Instead of just adding a bunch of extras later down the line and asking you to pay more and more, I'm okay with this. You know, this is for me what the limits of what's acceptable. What I don't want to see is these guys start fucking around with microtransactions. If that happens, 
that's gonna be a fucking problem. And I'm I'm telling you, I'm I'm gonna go ape shit. So I don't want to see this company do that. Stick with this. This is acceptable, and it's not that bad. And you know they'll make a few extra bucks along the way. And I think if, as long as the consumers feel like it's they're not being ripped off, I think you're you're doing okay. So I like this. That's the first thing right off the bat. Um, so I, I'm gonna pre-order. I'm not a, a. I usually don't pre-order games, but you're gonna get the game a couple days earlier, and I want to play the game as soon as I can. So I'm gonna pre-order. I'm gonna get the gold edition. Seventy bucks, not a bad deal in my opinion. So we're gonna move on to what the features are. Let's say let's, the official game of NASCAR features all three NASCAR series. Fan favorite, Extreme Dirt Tour. Okay. They list these things as features, and I don't think they're features. I think that this is stuff that just should just be, uh, you know, uh, assumed that is just part of the game. When you're listing all of these things, it just shows you that the game still is going to be somewhat bare bones. They're not really going to have a lot to offer in terms of features when it comes to, like, oh, new stuff. Or things that actually make the game deeper and more immersive. Uh, there's just not a lot there. So, listing that you have all three series and plus the Dirt Tour. I mean, they're putting it down as a feature. But they, they are kind of trying to stretch things. Then we go to career mode enhancements. I don't know what that means. To me, when I hear career mode enhancements, it reminds me of something that you might see in a supermarket. It, when you're going down the aisle, you'll see maybe a box of cereal and it says new and improved flavor or whatever. It's a meaningless uh, marketing gimmick. It's just something that makes you feel like, oh, it's better. But it doesn't really get into detail in how is this really better. Uh, career mode enhancements. That could mean anything. And I would not expect anything major from that. It, you know, it might include, and I'm really hoping that they go deeper with the stats. But, you know, judging by the way they're listing every little insignificant detail, I think if they would have, you know, uh, made the, the stats deeper, they would have probably listed it. So I'm kind of hoping that career mode enhancements means you're going to get a more comprehensive uh, compilation of stats. Um, the way the stats are now, it's just an over... It's, it's pretty much just thrown in, and it, it's not done well at all. So I'm hoping they do something with that. Who knows? Career mode enhancements, I don't know. Then it says updated visuals, which is obvious. I, they really seem to be pushing the idea that the graphics are going to be better. Uh, all we've seen so far are some screenshots and that leaked a uh, video. Um, I still think they kind of leaked that on purpose and then they pulled it back. We're going to find out soon because if, let's say this weekend, what, they release more information or a trailer or whatever it is, if we end up seeing the same video released, then we know it's not. it wasn't a, a leak that was done on purpose. And I think it's going to be a dud. If they release that same video as, like, news, people are going to have a negative attitude about it because they just saw it leaked. And it really didn't show a lot. Uh, it didn't really... Nobody walked away thinking, you know, being impressed with anything. So that's... I hope that they, they come out with something much uh, more descriptive, a trailer... Uh, you know, and more information. So, those are my thoughts on that. So, the updated visuals, the graphics, that remains to be seen. But the fact that they, they're they openly pushing that, they I'm, I have no doubt in my mind that they really did work on the graphics. Uh, how much better the game's going to look, we, we, it, we're still far away from knowing. Uh, and a lot of times when you see these trailers and or videos on YouTube... You're not getting the best quality. You lose something. It's not the same as playing the game in person. You know, playing it yourself. And then you really see what the game looks like. So take that with a grain of salt. Uh, let's see. And new engine audio immerses players in the race. 
this is probably one of the more uh, exciting things for me. One of the things that I've been, I mean, really adamant about these NASCAR games just, just sound hot. They don't, they just don't sound right. And these guys got to get that sound down. That's going to make a huge difference in just the immersion. When you play these games, the sound is really important. And they're putting it out there. There's like the audio is, is a brand new audio. They worked on it. Does it mean it's going to sound better? That remains to be seen. Uh, that audio, that video clip they, they leaked, it, you d it did sound different, right? But I need to hear more, and I do need to hear it in actual gameplay footage. It's not the same as watching a trailer. When you're actually playing the game, this the game's going to sound different. So I need to hear that before I really uh, decide whether or not it's better. But I love the idea that they worked on it. They heard the complaints, and that is, you know, that's a good thing. So I'm glad to hear that they worked on the audio. New track map, there's another feature that really, if the game was really fleshed out and deep, they wouldn't even list that. That's like one of these things that is not even that important. But they list it because they're kind of trying to stretch it. And because the, the game, honestly, I don't think it's going to be a night and day improvement. I think we're going to continue to get these, uh, you know, the game's definitely going to be better, but not by a lot or by what people are expecting or want to be. Um, so, yeah, there you go. You got the, uh, the track map, which I like. A lot of people wanted it. You know, it wasn't like a deal breaker for me, but I'm glad it's in there. And it is useful. It is something I'm going to use. Then you got unlockable paint schemes, which is... Uh, it sounds like something in game that you're, you know, by accomplishing certain things, you'll be able to unlock. I like seeing stuff like that. That's detached from monetization, of microtransactions, or DLC. You know, give people something rewarding to play for. Uh, you know, so I like that. You know, don't keep trying to squeeze more money out of people. So. All right. Um, combined with the new AI controls, I don't know what AI controls means. I gotta be honest with you. That could mean a lot of things, and I, I'm I'm at a total loss. Anybody out there that has an idea of what you think they might mean by controls, you know, put it in the comment section. Let me know what you think. Uh, okay. And drafting features gives players a more authentic feel. Okay, they worked on the drafting. I'm not a big fan of draft racing or, or, you know, that kind of thing. But, you know, it is part of NASCAR, so it, it makes sense that they worked on it. If it's more authentic and improved, you know, that's a good thing. Uh, again, you got to take all this stuff with a grain of salt. A lot of developers claim a bunch of improvements, you know, and then when you actually play the game, it's not all that, it, that they made it out to be. It's just marketing. You know, at the end of the day, some of this stuff may actually you know, be a big improvement and some stuff you may not see much. So every year you hear that they're working on certain things and then you play the game and it's a little disappointing. All right. AI controls, drafting features. Okay. Compete across 38 tracks against 150 official NASCAR teams. All right. This is really nothing. It's just filler uh, as you race for the championship that's the game you know it's NASCAR that's not even something I would list you know if you're buying a NASCAR game you know what it is and they're kind of it's just filler so that doesn't mean anything to me it's just an unnecessary description pre-order for exclusive access to the night version of Martinsville Speedway so I guess you're only going to get the night version of Martinsville if you pre-order I'm not a fan of, of stuff like that but it's one of those things, this is just the way the gaming uh, industry is now. I think everyone should have the, the nighttime Martinsville version. But, whatever. It is what it is. Pre-order for exclusive access to night version. Okay, I just read that. Oh, they wrote it twice. This is on the uh, Walmart site. Pre-order access to the night version of Martinsville, Martinsville Speedway. Pre-order... NASCAR E4 for exclusive, exclusive access 
to the night version of Martin Luther King. They actually wrote it twice. All right, so I'm sorry I read it twice. I'm just going one by one. That's weird. Uh, for the first time in its 70-year history, Martinsville Speed Speedway will host the uh, Cup Series under the lights. Okay, blah, blah, blah. So you're only going to be able to get that with the pre-order. I think everyone should get it, but whatever. They want to entice people to pre-order. Uh, it's one of those things I'm, I'm learning to have to live with. It's not going to change. NASCAR Heat 4 Gold Edition includes full game, 2019 season pass, Jeff Gordon Steelbook. They are repeating a lot of stuff, at least in the Walmart site. Wow, it's, yeah, they're really desperately trying to make it seem like there's a lot more than there really is. That's not a good sign. Um, it is early, and I'm sure they're going to talk a lot about the game and get more in detail. So, new features, track, ma wait a minute. They almost wrote everything twice. I just realized that. Wow. They just repeated everything twice. I don't know if this is Walmart or, or 704 because on the Best Buy website, it's it's a lot less descriptive, but I'm starting to see now that all they did here was like kind of repeat themselves twice. All right. Track map, unlockable paint scheme, control options, enhanced career mode. Those are the new features. As I said before, that, uh, enhanced career mode, I don't know what that means. It could mean anything. New graphics and sound. Biggest improvement in graphics and sound in nearly a decade. I love hearing that, but I just saw that. Drafting. Team up and draft with other drivers. Seize the moment and break from the pack when the time is right. Okay, it sounds a little, I think like NASCAR 2006. I think team total team control. I don't think it's going to be exactly like that, of course, but... I think they're trying trying to go for this thing where you kind of work with other drivers and maybe, you know, you could build your rapport with them or whatever. That kind of stuff never really appealed to me that much, but, it, you know, it's in there. Competitive, smarter AI. This is another thing that I'm really excited about and what I want to hear. Whether or not they really improve the AI to this extent remains to be seen. Like I said, this is marketing. But the important thing is they did work on it, and that's what I want to hear. Smarter AI, and I do think that the AI is really important. Now, they didn't mention anything in this any of these descriptions about physics, but we know from a lot of leaked information from people who have played the game already, or at least an early version, everyone saying, that the physics have been improved, that the cars are a lot harder to handle, whatever, um, and the physics are just largely improved. So it's, I find it strange that they didn't put that in here because they're putting all kinds of stuff that is really not that big of a deal, but they didn't put improved physics, which is a big deal to people. That's strange. So I don't know if this is really Walmart describing the game or but they I doubt it this has to be all from 704 so that's a little strange but my point I'm trying to get to is that just as important as the physics is the AI because the meat and potatoes of the game is the actual on-track racing the gameplay how does this game feel and the physics are only half of that equation the other half is the AI because how they race you, how they race each other, that's a big, big part of, of how the racing is going to feel. It doesn't matter how realistic the physics are if the AI doesn't race properly. And I've, my biggest complaints have been that the AI doesn't run uh, different lines. They don't spread out. And, and the sense of awareness is just not there. And right it says smarter AI. It goes. It says multiple racing lines, new controls for skill range. I, again, I'm not really sure what that means. I'm, I, I guess that that's just talking about maybe they 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 uh, changed the difficulty settings. I don't know what else that could mean. So, again, if anybody out there thinks you understand what this new controls for skill range means, you know, let me know. It sounds to me like it has something to do with. Uh, the, the difficulty settings 
but multiple racing lines, stability, spread, spread. I mean, that can only mean that the car, getting the cars to spread out properly, which is my biggest complaints, and mechanical failures. So I think they're going to go further. Like, you know, one of the things I do, I got to admit, I liked that they did with NASCAR Heat 3 is these random uh, events where the AI might blow a tire and just run into the wall or blow an engine. I like that. Um, I think that adds to the immersion. They didn't really do a good job of it because a lot of, a lot of times these cars with a blown engine would just stay out and, and they'll restart in front of you and they won't go anywhere. It's just that was a broken part of the game and that, that really needs to be fixed and I, I'm sure they, they worked on it. So, you know, just watching that they the multiple multiple racing lines stability spread and mechanical failures i love all that this so far is the most exciting part of all these sort of so-called features right and the game desperately needs that and if they do improve the ai to where it should be that's going to make all the difference in the world in the racing because yeah the physics are important but how the ai races you and races each other that is what's going to make uh, the biggest impact, I think, in the actual offline racing. So that's really important, and I wanted to hear that, and I'm glad. Again, take it with a grain of salt. They kind of say this stuff all the time, and it's part of marketing. So it's just, you know, how much of it is just marketing and how much of it is they really did spend time on it and work on it, that remains to be seen. And I'm hoping that 704, when they do talk about the game, get into details about it. But I have no reason to believe that they didn't work on it. Obviously, it's just a no-brainer. you got to work on these things every year. And you have to push the envelope and, and keep improving. And if this AI does start running multiple lines and spreading out, um, and the stability, you know, have them run, a, you know, have there be a little more stability, that's going to have a huge impact on the offline racing. And that's really important. And I've, I really believe in that. So I'm, that might be the best thing I've seen so far. Plus the sound. I want to hear the game got to sound better. And then the last feature is something I could not care less about. NASCAR eSports. So. Uh, I'm just going to say one thing about the eSports. It's here to stay. And even though it's something that I think is going to take away a lot of the focus on the on what to me is the most important thing, which is the career mode and the offline stuff, that's going to take away a lot of the attention because they want to push this esports thing. But it's not going anywhere. And the reason it's not going anywhere is not just because of 704. It's their alliance with NASCAR. NASCAR is invested in esports. And they actually own the Heat Pro League. This is NASCAR's. This is, it, it doesn't belong to 704. So they're working together, right? And I'm not really sure how NASCAR makes money from this Pro League. I'm sure there's something. It might maybe advertising. Or maybe they do have an agreement with, that, with the 704 where they get a percentage of game sales. And they're hoping that this esports stuff helps push these games personally I couldn't care less I am not a fan of online multiplayer racing uh, it is a, it's just chaos and I'm not even talking about the technical aspects of it with the, the servers or the, the all the the issues the technical issues I'm just talking about just racing people online it is a mess uh, there's no way to really control it you just and it's I don't know man I'm not a fan. I try it. I do jump in the online every once in a while just to give it a try, you know, just for the hell of it. And it's always a nightmare. It's always, I don't know how people can spend all day doing that. And to me, you're never going to get an authentic NASCAR experience online. You're only going to get that offline career mode. It's not, they're apples and oranges. They're nothing alike. Racing people 
in a quick sprint, 3%, 5% race with like eight or nine cars and a bunch of guys just wrecking each other, that's not NASCAR. The only thing that's NASCAR is actually driving NASCAR vehicles on NASCAR sanctioned tracks. That's it. That's where it ends. That's where the similarities end. There's nothing else about online racing that appeals to me. I couldn't care less. All I care about is career mode. And as long as they work on that and keep improving that, I'll, I'll, I'm okay. Right now, I'm not thrilled. I'm not. I don't see any revolutionary features. I don't see anything here. Another thing that I can guarantee you that I almost forgot to mention is there is no paint booth. They're not. They didn't even mention customization. So that scares me. I, I think that the customization is going to be a lot like last year. They might add a couple of templates and or maybe a couple of fonts to the numbers, and that's about it. Because if they did anything substantial, they would have listed it. They know people love customization. Customization is a part of all games. Nowhere do they talk about customization. And I guarantee you there's no paint booth. Paint booth would have been the first thing they mentioned because they know how much people want paint booth. And they're not giving it to us. So forget about it. Uh, so I'm letting people know that. Don't even ask about it. It's not going to be in the game. And that's clear. Um, I don't know if we're ever going to get a fucking paint booth. I think maybe they want to push DLC paint schemes, and if they feel it, it I'm, I'm, I'm not even going to go there. There's no fucking paint booth. That's really disappointing. But I'm trying to give these guys a chance. I'm trying to look at things on the positive side. Um, and I know a lot of people, they're already disappointed. But I think, and this is a big if, if they really do if the game does look better graphics wise and it sounds better and the ai really is improved like they're claiming sorry um if they improve that and the physics are improved uh i think that they might be able to make enough improvements in the game where people feel like okay this was worth my money and I can continue to kind of stick with these guys. The other thing is, I, you know, I've come, I mean, I've, I already knew this, but I, I have to start accepting that no one else is going to make NASCAR games. So as much as I want to see competition, and I would love to see someone else, maybe Codemasters or somebody step up and do a NASCAR game, that's not going to happen. NASCAR is in... Uh, they're all in with 704. They gave them a massive licensing deal. Unheard of. I don't know if... I mean, maybe Madden Football. I don't know too many other uh, gaming franchises that have that big of a, a licensing deal. They, they, they have this thing for another 10 years. And the, the I, I'm, I'm guaranteeing you that the main focus is going to be this esports thing. They really believe in this stuff. I don't really believe in it. I think they're trying to sort of fill a, a, a market for people, you know, like a poor man's eye racing. I'm not saying they're com trying to compete with eye racing, but they're giving you a an online racing uh, option where you don't have to go and spend a lot of money and pay a monthly fee. And it's it's like it's just you know. It's a nice option for people who are into it. Even though I don't care for it, it's not all about me. I get it, right? So it's here to stay, for better or for worse. There is one thing, you know, I'm trying to find positives, so hang with me. But there is one thing that I think we could sort of, Put on the the esports or this online multiplayer racing that they're focused on. This, you know, for, at least from what everyone has said, that the physics are better. I'm not sure they would have worked so hard on the physics, and I'm assuming that the physics are better, right? So, 
We might find out that it's not as improved as we think, but the point is that they worked on it. And from all accounts, from people who supposedly played the game, that it is much improved. I'm not sure they would have really worked on the physics as much had it not been for esports or online multiplayer because they want the physics to be improved. It's important for online racing, just as important as it is for offline. So maybe because of that focus, they probably said, we really got to improve the physics, so let's focus on that so that people enjoy maybe the online more. And you don't have all these issues that people are just, you know, up to here with in terms of the physics. So, you know, there are some positives, but for me, it's it's mostly negative. I, I really hope that the, the career mode doesn't take a backseat. It sounds like they've worked on things, things that I do think are important, but there's no paint booth. So that's not in, in there. I can guarantee that. Um, I don't know. And another issue that I've had with all these games, and I mean, I've had this issue for about a decade now, um, besides also the stats, right? We finally got stats now, but it's, it's half-assed. The other issue is presentation, and I can't emphasize enough how important presentation is. I didn't see anything here about a, any story-driven narrative where uh, there's a deeper, more immersive career mode in terms of presentation. There's no talk of that. So what overall, my overall feel about this game is it's going to feel a lot like NASCAR Heat 3. That's what I'm expecting. And unless I hear something more from these guys or they want to surprise us, which might happen, but I doubt it. Uh, unless I hear something more, you're, I would expect this game is going to feel a lot like NASCAR Heat 3. But if they do honestly improve on all the things they talked about, it's going to feel better. The racing is going to be much more enjoyable. The sound. You know, to me, that that's one of the most understated aspects of NASCAR games throughout the entire history of NASCAR games. NASCAR and and how and the, the sound of, of, of NASCAR is so important. And how developers every year continue to miss the mark on that is one of the most... It might be up there with the stats issue, where you have no stats... And the sound sucks. These are areas that I I, to, I still can't believe has been overlooked this long. Hopefully, they finally address this stuff. And that, you know, remains to be seen. But I'm glad to hear that they worked on it. And they, they're putting it out there. The game's going to look better. It's going to sound better. And I think that makes a huge difference when you're sitting there playing the game. That's immersive. Um... And if the AI really is improved, like they're claiming here, these are the things I wanted to hear. So I want these cars spreading out. So they talked about that, run different lines. The mechanical failures, sounds good. How much of this is hype? How much of it is real? We're going to find out. Um, and the last thing, this enhanced career mode. I have no idea what that means. That could be anything. It's a very generic way to just make you feel like, yeah, it's going to be better. But how is it going to be better? We don't know. So I know a lot of you guys are going to be disappointed. You're going to walk away from this. Screw this. I'm done with these guys. Um, if you feel that way, I don't blame you. I'm still... Uh, mm, I'm leaning on the positive side because... We're stuck with these guys, for better or for worse. And I'm sorry. I'm not a Formula One guy. You know, I would love to buy the Codemaster games and, and really get into it. I'm just not a Formula One guy. I'm a NASCAR guy. And I'm going to ride or die with that sport. As in, even through all the negatives, I'm still a huge fan. And I really want the game to just continue getting better. It sounds like more baby steps, unfortunately. And 
unless you know if, if if once we get the game it turns out to be just a minor improvement who knows I might just be done but I don't I'm not ready yet to walk away um, I want to hear more about I would love to hear more about presentation and, and, and have a paint booth all these things that unfortunately it's just gonna it feels like every year they're gonna give us one of these things and then just continue to make baby steps and continue to focus on esports that's what it feels like so I'm hoping there's surprises in store we don't really know that much about the game we saw that leaked uh, video and then we're reading this description um so those are really my thoughts uh, I think there are things to, to be positive about, but at the same time, there are things to be disappointed about. And uh, so, I mean, that it is what it is at this point. I hope you guys got something out of it. Uh, let me know what you guys think. I'm, I'm interested to know. Um, I look forward to the weekend. I think this weekend we're going to get more information. It looks like we're at that point where they're going to start releasing stuff. I want to hear them talk about this game in more detail and sometimes maybe they can explain what this enhanced career mode means to me it just sounds like generic nothing um, so there are some things I, I'm, I'm, pos I, I'm, I'm excited about but mm, not that excited so those are my thoughts uh, I hope you guys appreciated it and uh, let me know what you guys think in the comment section and when there's more news to, to uh, dissect, uh, I'll do another video. So thanks. I appreciate uh, your, the support. And uh, let me know what you think. Later.